Hello everyone. Over all my years of teaching, I've become very interested in the way people practice because that is the key to becoming a better player. You see, what we need to understand is when we practice, what we repeat is what we learn. I wish I knew this when I was 10 years old. What we repeat is what we learn. And naturally, we tend to practice in the wrong way. We almost have to learn how to practice and we have to practice practicing. Let me explain. I think this is how I used to practice and probably most people do. So the goal here is to get through a chord sequence which includes the chord B minor. Okay, so I'm struggling to get to the chord of B minor there. So I'm okay on the G, I hesitate to get to the B minor and then go on nicely to the C and then to the D. And I think most people will practice like this, trying to get to the chord and they keep trying until they get it right. So this is the natural mode of practicing. You keep trying to do something until you get it right. So the action of trying to get something right, that is what you're learning. So what I'm learning here is I'm learning to not get to the B minor correctly. I'm becoming a world expert at pausing before the B minor. I'm becoming a world expert at playing a buzzy B minor. Don't practice trying to get something right. So what you have to do is get it right and then repeat it many times. And the only way to do that would be incredibly slowly. It would, it would be working on that B minor in isolation. And then when you can do it, when you can play it without buzzes, then extremely slowly you put it together and you repeat it correctly many times because what we repeat is what we learn. So practice can be harmful. If you're simply trying to get something right many, many times, you're going to become an expert in not actually being able to get it right, in nearly getting it right. Okay, let me go back to this B minor chord. So I'm I need to work on the B minor chord itself. I'll probably spend a week working on the bar A and working on landing as one unit, more or less, with my fingers in the right place. Three, two, one, go. Can I get there with my eyes closed? No, okay, so let's try it with my eyes open in slow motion. Can I land there? etc. And then when I'm confident I can play that B minor chord without buzzes, in slow motion I'll go back to that chord sequence. Making sure there's an even amount of time between each strum. And the way to do that, you've probably heard this before, one thousand, two thousand, one thousand, two, etc. What we repeat is what we learn, and we can only learn to play better by repeating something correctly many, many times. So it becomes second nature. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.